covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. For months, Apple's corporate network was at risk of hacks that could have stolen sensitive data from potentially millions of its customers and executed malicious code on their phones and computers. Sam Curry, a 20-year-old researcher who specializes in website security, said that in total he and his team found 55 vulnerabilities. He rated 11 of them critical because they allowed him to take control of core Apple infrastructure and from there steal private emails, iCloud data, and other private information. Apple promptly fixed the vulnerabilities after Curry reported them over a three-month span, often within hours of his initial advisory. The company has so far processed about half of the vulnerabilities and committed to paying $288,500 for them. Once Apple processes the remainder, Curry said the total payout may surpass a half million dollars. Curry said in, said in an online chat a few hours after posting a $9,200 word, $9, word write-up about their findings. If the issues were used by an attacker, Apple would have faced massive information disclosure and integrity loss. He explains attackers would have access to the internal tools used for managing user information and additionally be able to change the systems around to work as the hackers intend. Among the most serious risks were those posed by a wormable cross-site scripting vulnerability in a code parser that's used by the iCloud servers. Because iCloud provides service to Apple Mail, the flaw could be exploited by sending someone with an iCloud.com or Mac.com address an email that included malicious characters. The target need only open the email to be hacked. And once that happened, a script hidden inside the malicious email allowed the hacker to carry out any actions the user could when accessing iCloud in the browser. In a statement, Apple says, as soon as the researchers alerted us to the issues they detail in the report, we immediately fixed the vulnerabilities and took steps to prevent future issues of this kind. Based on our logs, the researchers were the first to discover the vulnerabilities, so we feel confident no user data was misused. Big thanks to Roy W. Nash and our community of viewers for submitting stories to us this week. Thanks for watching the Category 5.TV Newsroom. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all your tech news with a slight Linux bias. And if you appreciate what we do, become a patron at patreon.com slash category5. From the Category 5.TV Newsroom, I'm Becca Ferguson.